Philly is a very, very, very difficult place to make it out of. Um, and I feel like we kind of get a bad rep just because of all the, the extra, you know, violence and, and you know, just this crime in our city. We kind of get a bad rep um, on our name. But great, great city, man. It's a very, like, I want to say, you know, hard-nosed city. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of us get out the mud. And um, I feel like me coming and growing up in Philly has prepared me for anything I go through in my life. Um, so you can make it out of Philly. I feel like you can make it anywhere in this world. Um, but, you know, the people there, if, if they love you, they love you. If they don't, you're going to feel it for sure. Um, mm-hmm. And I think we see that sometimes with, like, different, you know, uh artists or or sports uh athletes stuff like that we just you know we see it now with ben simmons and you know how he's been (laughs) dealing with that but um you know if they love you they love you uh they don't they don't but um just growing up growing up in that city man i feel like that's where i get my toughness from and um Mm -hmm. you know the way that i play on the court is you know i'm a gritty guy um defensive minded guy i like to get up in you and, and you know pressure the ball stuff like that and um just a hard-nosed guy out there. And that just comes from me playing in the city, man. And uh, like I said before, man, it just prepares you for anything that you go through in life. Hmm. So what about the city relates to your game besides just the toughness? Because, you know, uh, like more basketball-wise, because they say how, you know, Cali dudes, they kind of got like a smoother game and they, mm-hmm. they're more finesse. And in New York, it got the, the grittiness to it. Down yeah. south, we got the athletes. So, like, what about Philly – is more distinct for you in your game. Um, I really, I really think it's my toughness, man. Like me growing up, I, I played outside in the parks. Like a mm-hmm. lot of these, like this new generation, man. They, I don't want to say they bougie, but you know, they if it's not inside the gym and, and nice hardwood floor, they don't want to hoop. Man, I, mm-hmm. I grew up on the concrete, man, playing every day. Um, you know, playing in the hood and in, in the trenches, man. Like, like I said, that that prepares me for anything I go through. So like. I was at Sanford. We played against uh, Tennessee, and they were number one in the country. They had like Grant Williams, Jordan Boone, Schofield, and all them. And I'm talking about that. It's loud in there, man. Like I, I'm having a conversation with my team, and I can't even hear what he's saying. Like that's how loud it is. But it's like I think back to me playing at we had, we got this gym. It's called uh, Hank Gathers Gym uh, down in North Philly, 25th and Diamond. And t- talking about like we got it's, it's guys standing underneath the court, like yo. You know what I'm saying you make this free throw, we're gonna have to see you after the game. Like it's it's treacherous in there. So I feel That's like great. that prepared me. Like when I go to these big arenas and these these uh these different places, like I'm I'm not scared. I'm fearless out there on the court. Um, I think that's just a testament to to the city and and you know how we came up. So you really had to deal with like what's that movie above the rim type stuff where it's, it's like it's, that's real. Like it, it really get like that. Wow, it really get like that for real. Dang. So you had that person happen to you? For sure. A couple of times. A couple of times. Right. Yeah. Can you break down a situation without, you know, getting too deep into it? I don't know how the um, is. Yeah, just I mean, just the example I gave you, man. I'm I'm shooting the free throw. It's crunch time. And we were actually playing against one of my best friends, Tony Carr. Um, I'm probably like I wanna say 10. I probably was like 10 or 11. Um, it was a this tight game. I'm shooting a free throw at the end. And it's packed gym, and it's a it's a small gym, but it's standing room only in there. Like guys talking trash the whole game, so it comes down to crunch time at the free throw line. He's like, "Yo, you missed this free throw." I'm I'm 11 years old. If you miss this free throw, we're going to see you after the game. Like I'm like, damn, like you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. <laughs> I'm I'm 11 years old. Like what you mean by that? Like, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I end up making the free throw, or whatever. We won the game, um, and nothing happened, obviously, because you know. My, my folks was there too, but um, it's just, I mean, that, that happens often in the city, uh, no matter where you play, you play in the North Philly, South Philly, um, it happens all over the city, man. But I feel like that's why we just have so much toughness and grit to us. Um, mm-hmm. And we, we just, we built different. Mm. That's wild, bro. Like I can't <laughs> even like at 10, like 10, 11 years old being like. They don't care, man. They, <laughs> they don't care. It's crazy. That's wild, bro. Um, yeah, I, I can't even like picture myself going through that, bro. Like, 
but like you said, that's that's what makes that's what makes you guys who you are. Because you, I don't say you almost known to it, but it's like that's kind of what happens. Mm-hmm. So it's like, how how did you kind of deal with that and get through that? Like I know it's kind of like, um, like I just said, it's kind of like what you kind of have to deal with and you go through. But how did you like come to grips with like, okay, if I want to hoop, if this is what I want to do, I have to figure out how to maneuver through this. So how did you personally like maneuver through that whole situation for you? Um, I mean, I just personally think that that specific situation just like I feel like I in that in that moment right there I, I grew tremendously and after that it was like I don't even feel pressure so mm. you know to fast forward my my high school career or college career is like when I'm you know say I'm at the free throw line now and we down by one or it's a tie game and I got to make these free throws like I don't even feel pressure now I'm just you know I'm saying go through my routine I'm knocking it down um and I feel like that is in the back of my mind at the same time. It's like, okay, I remember when I was at Hank shooting these free throws. I remember when I was at 10th Street, Teth and Nolly outside the park in this standing room only at the park. And, you know, I'm getting heckled. Um, so I mean, that's that's always in the back of my mind. But I feel like that prepared me for um, the things that I went through in my career. Mm. So you feel like all of that built up to – another level of mental toughness not just the physicality of like like you say i like to get up under my you know opponent and just be physical but like mentally it built you a whole different layer to when somebody talking trash to you that's like oh okay that's cute but like 100 so mentally you just built like a whole nother beast yeah for sure for sure you hit it right in the nose mm. that's kind of my job bro you feel me <laughs> <laughs> i do a little something with that <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, what else can you tell me about Philly? Because I've never been there. I just, you know, the small stuff that I heard about from the news. And like I said, lately with the Ben Simmons situation, you know, like. So tell me about Philadelphia, man. Because when we were growing up, it was all about AI and mm-hmm. uh, Donovan McNabb, T.O. Yep. era. That's kind of what we got from Philly, man. So yeah. tell me about Philadelphia, bro. Man, I'm not going to lie. AI is the reason why I started hooping. Like, mm-hmm. um, you know, me, me being a young age and just the impact that he had on the city, man, I'm going to every game watching, watching him perform. And then it's like, you know, I'm a small guard myself. So to see him mm-hmm. five, 11, six foot out there doing what he was doing, man, it's so much inspiration and, and motivation for me to, um, just to believe that I could do what he's doing. Um, but you know, like you said, like AI McNabb, um, like we had a couple of legends that, that came through the city and just gave, gave everybody hope, man. Um, and you know, like I was speaking on earlier, like you know, when the city loves you, man, they 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 love you. Like to this day, AI can come to the city anytime he wants, and he's gonna get that that same love he got when he was playing. Just just the impact he had on the city, like, um, and the, and the way that he played was kind of like, you know, how how we live our everyday life. Like I was talking about earlier, that grit and that toughness. Like he's going every day, every every night out there and giving it his all at, at six foot five eleven, going against guys that's you know. 10 inches taller than him, six inches taller than him, whatever it is. But mm-hmm. um, I feel like AI was really the first um, like role model that I had basketball wise to, you know, just give me some type of hope and, and belief in myself that I can, I can really do this and, you know, I can get paid playing basketball. 